Welcome to a Plus Health Life channel. We discuss the ways to fulfill your life with more quality and inform you on ways to get to your life goals with less effort. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Top Rated Things to Do in Coral Springs Coral Springs is a small, family-friendly city bordering Coconut Creek. It lies about 20 miles northwest of Fort Lauderdale and next to the Everglades Wildlife Management Area. With multiple wilderness preserves, a unique art museum, and a ton of parks, there is no lack of fun things to do in this Broward County gem. One of the first planned cities in Florida, Coral Springs was built in 1963 on what was once marshland. The area was well drained and developed by Coral Ridge Properties, which lent the town its name. Today, Coral Springs contains the lovely gated communities that have become synonymous with Florida living and is peppered with towering palm trees, sparkling lakes, and trickling fountains, which add to its overall charm. While the city lies over 12 miles from the nearest beach, Pompano Beach, Coral Springs is packed with so many things to see and do that visitors won't miss the ocean. Plan your trip with our list of the top things to do in Coral Springs. 1. Ogle the trees at Tall Cypress Natural Area. Over 66 luscious acres welcome visitors to the Tall Cypress Natural Area, one of the last remaining spots featuring Cypress Basin Swamp and Pine Flatwoods in Broward County. Although it appears small from the parking lot, keep walking, and you'll be amazed by the area's vast expanse. Those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life will enjoy its quiet trails and more than 2,000-foot-long elevated boardwalk. A cacophony of rustling leaves and chirping birds are the only sounds you'll hear as you wind your way along the trail, far beneath a lush canopy of pine, palm, and cypress trees. Bird watchers flock here, loaded down with binoculars and giant lensed cameras. They're hoping to catch sight of some of the area's most prized residents, birds, like great horned owls, woodpeckers, and egrets. Two outlooks allow for extended vistas across the flatwoods. Where birds go, other animals follow, so you can also expect to spot lizards, snakes, and turtles in this natural wonderland. Stay quiet and look carefully. You will be amazed at how well the wildlife can blend into the background. There are plenty of parking spaces, picnic tables, benches, and restrooms on site, as well as a small play area. 2. Be entertained at Coral Springs Center for the Arts. You'll know you've arrived at the Coral Springs Center for the Arts when you spot large statues on a perfectly manicured lawn. If you think you've seen giant orange slices, rest assured, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. A community staple, the center, as it is called by locals, prides itself on presenting a multitude of arts, including dance, music, theater, sculptures, and paintings in one vibrant 30,000-square-foot space. Park in the lot by the sports fields and take a moment to walk along the path to the left of the center. It, too, is peppered with sculptures and passes through the International Peace Garden. While smaller than the sculpture garden, the International Peace Garden is just as compelling and perhaps more serene. This pretty spot sits beside a pond, and features a mosaic boasting an egret, as well as an intricately carved archway leading visitors to the main entrance. Behind the building's tan facade, you'll find both the Coral Springs Museum of Art and its large, 1,471-seat theater, which hosts performances of all types, i.e. musical, comedy, and dance. The center is also home to a dance studio. Three. Get educated at the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Hospital. Looking for a way to entertain the kids that doesn't involve getting sand stuck in your bathing suit? Head to the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Hospital. Located on five acres in the Sportsplex Complex, this expansive refuge is the perfect place to keep kids happy. Plus, they'll learn important lessons about protecting wildlife. The Orchid Garden is magical. Lush vegetation surrounds the path, which winds around like a maze. Miniature gnomes and toadstools are peppered throughout, upping the fun factor when children spot their adorable faces. The garden lies beside the cypress swamp, just in front of the main building. Also near the entrance is an enclosed area housing beehives. 
safely stowed behind wooden walls and windows, visitors can watch the bees hard at work with little chance of getting stung. Aviaries house animals that are unable to be released back into the wild. You'll see everything from fancy pigeons to Florida box turtles to eastern screech owls. The Nature Center provides educational programs for kids and adults, as well as wildlife camps. The hospital portion takes in wild animals that are injured or lost. Look out for the Backyard Wilderness Mural, an impressive work of art that's proudly displayed on the side of the main building near the aviaries. 4. Play all day at Sportsplex. If you prefer being active to lying prone on a beach, head to Sportsplex. A giant 180.8-acre park, this expansive green space has everything you need to stay fit and have fun. Four swimming pools and a water playground welcome visitors to the Coral Springs Aquatic Complex, the perfect place to visit for a refreshing dip. The Tennis Center of Coral Springs is also located on the Sportsplex grounds and boasts 12 Har True and 4 Deco Turf Courts. Book a court, take a class, or enroll the kids in a holiday camp. If it turns out Florida's a bit too hot for you, head inside to the Florida Panthers Ice Den, where visitors can skate on a full-sized ice rink. No need to lug your skates, as there are plenty to rent. Guests can also practice their swing in the batting cages. Play a game of pickup basketball, soccer, or football, or jog along the paved paths. Feeling hungry after all that exercise? You'll find picnic tables, pavilions, grills, and concession stands on site. Don't miss the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Center, located just past Dr. Paul's Pet Care Center Dog Park. Home to rescued animals, gardens, and a bee colony, it's a lovely place to learn about nature's gifts. 5. Take a dip at Cypress Park and Pool. Coral Springs is home to a multitude of parks. Interestingly, three of the city's best, and more diverse, parks lie within mere feet of each other. Cypress Park stands out as a haven for water lovers. You won't overheat in this fun spot with a large water park featuring everything from slides to waterfalls to sprinklers to a lazy river that takes 10 minutes to wind along. Just remember to slather on the sun cream before jumping in. Lounging around more your thing? No worries. There are plenty of sun loungers available for relaxing on the deck with a bunch of oversized umbrellas to protect you from the sun's powerful rays. Shaded picnic areas offer a cool spot for a snack, and the splash pad will occupy little ones as you watch from the sidelines. Restrooms, concessions, and swimming and diving lessons are offered on site, while tennis courts are available next door at the Cypress Park Tennis Center. 6. Unwind at Orchid Park. Cypress Park and Orchid Park are so close, you can park at one and walk to the other. While often lumped together when discussing the area's best parks, these two areas are so different they should be considered separately. While Cypress Park may do a better job at entertaining the kids, Hello, super fun water park. Smaller and much quieter Orchid Park will help their adult chaperones recover from all that splashing and screaming. Orchid Park has its own parking lot, restroom, a large picnic pavilion, and grills to make organizing lunch a cinch. A picturesque bridge transports visitors across the lake, where they can wind their way through trails lined with verdant trees and bushes. As for orchids, there aren't many around, but every once in a while, one mysteriously appears in or near a tree for everyone to enjoy. 7. Take the kids to Betty Stradling Park. Betty Stradling Park is another of Coral Springs' well-appointed green spaces. Among the 21 acres that make up this lush area, guests will find a skate park, athletic fields, beach volleyball court, basketball court, exercise stations, and plenty of picnic tables and pavilions to make it easy to spend a while on the grounds. Kids will gravitate towards the new, as of January, 2020, Princess Meadows Playground. A large play area featuring tall, swirling slides and climbing structures of all types, sizes, and colors, this fun space is a haven for little ones. The playground lies just beyond the skate park and was built to honor the memory of 18-year-old Meadow Jade Pollock and other victims of the February 14, 2018 school shooting at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 8. Take a walk at Cypress Hammock Park. 
The massive Cypress Hammock Park likes just across the street from Cypress Park, on the other side of busy Coral Springs Dive. If you include Cypress Park and Pool and Orchid Park within its boundaries, which many do, this vast space covers 16 acres. A community staple, Cypress Hammock Park contains everything you'd look for in an outdoor space. Walking and biking paths, baseball diamonds, basketball courts, pavilions, restrooms, picnic tables, and grills. Tennis courts are located across the street at the Cypress Park Tennis Center. Access to a pool and water park can also be found across the street, in Cypress Park. Plenty of benches provide resting spots for those who'd like to soak up the atmosphere and enjoy a little people watching with their fresh air. A massive parking lot makes it easy to ditch the car in favor of watching your kid play soccer or lounging beside the lake. Grab a snack at the concession stand when hunger strikes. 9. Enjoy the quiet in the Helena Ramsey Memorial Garden. A small sanctuary has been carved out of land that lies just a few feet from the Rotary Community Garden and Food Forest of Coral Springs and Dr. Paul's Pet Care Center Dog Park in the Sportsplex Complex. In 2018, one of the community's gardeners, Ann Ramsey, lost her daughter, Helena, in the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The lovely Helena Ramsey Memorial Garden was created to honor Helena's life, as well as those of the other 16 victims. In November of 2018, 17 bamboo trees, Helena's favorite, were planted in memory of the victims. A year later, the community gardeners added a serene labyrinth, which is surrounded by sustainable plants. A small sandbox sits off to the side, home to rocks painted and left by other visitors. This is a peaceful place to sit back, pay homage to those we've lost, and enjoy a quiet moment in beautiful surroundings. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.